Hello, I'm a shark and it's shark week. Is it shark week? I think maybe it is. Shark week. Shark not week. Shark strong. I'm sorry, that was like a Tumblr text post, I think. So I'm not claiming to have come up with that. So today for this shark themed video, I'm gonna be reading from this magazine, National Geographic Kids, from like October of 2004. I'm gonna be reading from this section, new movie, Shark Tale, Myths Busted. So we're gonna figure out the truth behind the new Shark Tale movie and take a look at what's real and what's fishy in this new flick. Hope you guys are excited because pretty crazy stuff in here. To start out, we've got this picture of Oscar and Angie and the caption says, Oscar left. Sweet talks Angie. I mean, I don't know about you, but who can resist this face and his sweet talking? No one I know. Such a gentleman. The first section, table for one. Head gangster Lino likes to dine with other great white sharks in a swanky seafood restaurant. Swordfish waiters pile their plates with shrimp, oysters, salmon, and seaweed salad. But in real life, these incredible hunting machines prefer to dine and hunt alone. And a great white's catch of the day would be something a bit more filling, such as a tasty seal or sea lion. So there you have it, folks. Sharks don't actually go to fancy restaurants to eat dinner. It's just Hollywood lying to us. Lino sitting in his library, standing. Sharks don't sit. They don't have legs. Plots against his son's killer. Dance moves. Swing her long fins that look like hair, Angie the angelfish boogies alone on her balcony. In real life, an angelfish's fins are small and stubby. Instead of making the fish look cool on the dance floor, which they certainly did in this movie, that was so cool, the fins help propel, steer, and break these colorful beauties around the reef. So, are you telling me that angelfish don't actually look like Angelina Jolie? That is incredibly disappointing. Wash, wax, and nibble. Oscar makes his bucks at the whale wash spa, where he darts into a whale's gaping mouth to apply a tooth flossing and an under-the-tongue vacuum. Fish like Oscar, who is a blue streak cleaner wrasse, don't do whales, but they do help clean big fish such as eels. Fishy customers literally line up at cleaning stations and allow cleaner wrasses to groom them. The cleaners nibble parasites off skin and inside mouths. I feel like everyone already knew that, that there were fish who like clean other larger fish's mouths. Do they think they're giving us this like insider information here? Because that's pretty sure everyone has heard about this stuff. Hate to break it to National Geographic kids, but they need to catch up with the times. Tell us something we don't know about marine biology. On the next page we got Oscar and Ernie and Bernie. What a shocker! When jellyfish Ernie and Bernie are sent to find Oscar, the duo sneakily greets him with an electrifying zap. Real jellyfish do sting, but they don't use electricity. Instead, they use special cells packed with ammunition, like tiny coiled harpoons, nematocysts, fire out of the cells to sting and stun prey. Swell guy. When Oscar messes up at work, watch out! His boss, Sykes the porcupine fish, can barely control his anger. When Sykes is upset, his blood pressure rises and he pops out. Director Vicky Jensen says, I like how they actually interviewed the director of the movie. It's really important. This is a magazine article. Real porcupine fish, a kind of puffer fish, do inflate two to three times their normal size, but only when they're threatened, not out of anger. Jeez, Hollywood. This is just really inaccurate information generally in this movie. I'm disappointed. Could have done a better job. Dreamworks? I don't know. Who cares? The power to puff happens when the fish swallows water, which t causes tiny spines to stick out of its body. It's like a floating pincushion. Ha <laughs> ha. That's hilarious because fish don't float, they swim, so it's just. Who writes these articles? Who writes these? By Adrian. Adrienne Mason. Adrienne? I'm disappointed in you and your writing. Disappointment. Hi, Kita. Kita's disappointed. That's how bad it is. She's a cat. She doesn't know English. She still thinks it's bad. 
Luca the octopus slinks around corners and glides into rooms, secretly gathering information about Oscar. Real octopuses would make great spies. They sneak around rocks and crevices in search of prey. They're also masters of disguise. Really? What, can they change color or something? I don't know about you, but I don't remember this character in the movie. There's just this octopus dude. What? Do you remember this? He's just so good at camouflage. I guess I never saw him. I think it had less about sharks than I should have included in this video. I'm sorry about that. Gotta go feed a cat now.